Hello guys welcome back to my channel today we are going to see the Oxygen OS 11 port room for the POCO X2 so guys let's begin so as you guys can see here is the about phone section and this is the design and the device name here it's showing is oneplus 9r the developers are Gautam Kunal and 6.9. The Android version here is a bit old one. It's Android 11. The security patch level here is 5th of March 2022. And the kernel here is the usual Redcliffe kernel and the Oxygen OS. Talking about the another the model here it's showing is LE2100. So moving back, take, so this is how the home screen UI is looking, and it's the original one plus, not the color OS one. It's the one plus UI, and here is the quick settings UI. Now going taking a look at the settings, this is the settings page UI. So it's the oxygen OS, not the newer color OS, oxygen OS mesh up yeah going to the system this is the up these are the options and otg storage if you want to use a pen drive then you need to turn this on the otg storage from here the power of the developer options the system updates option here is available but it's disabled because it's of no use now moving back in the utilities these are the options the work life balance here we can get started and it will configure the applications and everything and you are all set so it starts at 10 am and ends at 7 pm so this is the work life balance and if we want we can turn that on the work life balance mode then the quick launch option here is available it will just not work because we don't have the in display fingerprint scanner here so it will just not work now moving forward we get to see the parallel apps we can turn on the multiple applications if we want so it works fine no issues with the parallel apps now the app locker option here is also available which just works perfectly fine as you can see this is how the app locker looks and it just works fine and here is the option the digital well-being the google this is a ui bug present here the digital well-being just works perfectly fine no issues then talking about the battery backup so i'll give you an overview you will get around five hours of screen on time on this room so overall battery backup on this room is pretty good almost five hours of screen on time you will definitely get the optimized charging nearby charging stations and everything here are all the options available then the security and lock screen the fingerprint scanner here just works perfectly fine as you can see the fingerprint scanner works fine face unlock also here is working perfectly fine so as you can see the face unlock just works directly unlock it so it's pretty fast as you can see this is how it is the face unlock works fine no issues with the face unlock also the smart lock emergency rescue all the oneplus oxygen os features are available on this room then the buttons and gestures there is there is no alert slider option available the navigation bar and gestures option here is available if we want we can hide the bottom bar as you can see this is how it is now moving back to the sounds and vibration these are the options and this is the volume slider available on the left side just like the oneplus phones we cannot do it to the right side the oneplus ringtone also here is available this is the ringtone as you can see so the oneplus original oneplus default ringtone also here is available and everything works fine the sound and vibration notification here also sound is working fine then in the customizations these are the options the fingerprint animation just won't work otherwise everything just works fine the canvas here is also working so as you can see here is the canvas and it just works fine so no issues with the canvas it has actually okay it's the ambient display and it's the canvas it works perfectly fine so no issues you just have to set your wallpaper to work with the canvas and all the other oneplus live wallpapers here are also available which they are also working very much smooth no issues as you can see the oneplus live wallpaper 
so yes the system icons we can set the shape the default accent color the icon pack these are all the icon packs available then uh, the font and everything these are all the fonts one plus fonts available so everything in the oxygen os here is available and there is no feature it's not working everything is working fine going to the display options these are the options the vibrant color effect option here is available which we can turn it on the vision comfort reading mode dark mode ambient display everything works fine ambient display i had already shown you in the canvas it's working fine the screen saver the status bar display scaling scaling everything just works fine now going to the home screen this is the widget the clock widget oxygen os clock widget available then in the wallpapers this is the ui and we can set whatever the wallpaper we want and all the oxygen os wallpapers are working perfectly fine all the live wallpapers as you can see it just it just looks cool and everything all the wallpapers are working perfectly fine talking about uh, the home screen this is the app drawer available app launcher this is the quick settings option then the all the oneplus inbuilt apps are available as you can see the community switch oneplus file manager application here is available the weather app the notes app everything just works fine as you can see and the oneplus gallery app also here is available which is also working perfectly fine no issues the camera app there was by default no camera app available in this room then i installed the gcam the google camera also here is not working so there is no camera support for the this room so it's a issue we can use the camera in instagram and snapchat but as you know my the my rare camera has gone dead so maybe it's not working for me it might work for you but the front camera and everything is working perfectly fine but any camera app that is not working like i had tried the open camera as you can see my rare camera has gone dead and when i change the id we can switch to front camera as you can see it's working fine this is the macro sensor it is accessing as you can see it is able to focus very well so the depth head sensor we can access in the open camera otherwise we can try another camera app if we want to so yeah now talking about the another stuff like the performance as you can see the overall performance on this room here is pretty much smooth this is the oneplus dialer app as you can see and uh, you can see this is the oneplus dialer ui it is just working perfectly fine so no issues the oneplus messaging app here is also available which is working fine talking about the performance the overall performance on this room here is pretty much smooth as you can see the app opening speeds the animations everything here is pretty much smooth and 120 hertz refresh rate here is working fine talking about the geekbench scores here are the scores 498 and 1464 the scores are average but the overall performance here is very good i must say it is definitely a usable room as a daily driver but the camera here is a main issue we can install the any other third party camera app the gcam here is not working talking about the safety net status the safety net status has failed and all the banking apps everything here is just not working it will directly give you an error let's just let me just open a banking app so this is as you can see it is directly showing nxt will not work with rooted or jailbroken device so yes and that is magisk pre-built like this room comes with the magisk manager where is it gone here is the magisk this is pre-rooted room talking about the drm info we get to see the wide vinyl one support and the hd playback here is working fine no issues with that too otherwise everything just works fine there's these were the bugs i had told you directly otherwise everything the fingerprint scanner face unlock everything just works fine camera is the issue the banking apps are not working that is also an issue in this time otherwise the room here is performing very much smooth it's great it is usable as a daily driver if the banking apps are not important to you 
you can install any third party camera app to work the camera but the only issue is banking apps are not working safely and status has failed then if you want to change the refresh rate then here is the application available 60 hertz we can switch to 60 hertz from here as you can see to switch to 90 hertz and 120 hertz here it gets applied so this is the refresh rate application available the recorder app everything here is available the so yeah that was it for the oxygen os 11 on the red poco x2 so yeah that is it for now if you enjoyed this video then don't forget to hit the like button if you are new to this channel then please guys subscribe to the channel if you have any questions then you can ask me in the comment section below or in the telegram group i'll meet you in the next one till then stay safe have fun and bye